also new tonight, a warning to parents and families in Connecticut concerning potential predatory social media apps. This warning comes after a nine-year-old girl was lured through two apps into a chat and targeted for exploitation. Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter Mark Robbins looks into how parents can monitor and protect their children from cyber predators. This situation had a predator preying on the desires of a child. A little girl lured into a chat room under the guise of getting a thousand free social media followers. It's this type of innocence that makes it so dangerous for children to be on the internet. The apps that Representative Liz Linehan is upset with are TikTok and Facecast. The chair of the House Committee on Children is calling for all parents to delete these apps permanently. The things that were asked of not just her but other kids in that chat room were videos that may seem innocuous to a child, but as adults we know that they could be sexual in nature. Parental monitoring is essential and the first responsibility of allowing children access to the Internet. So believes social media educator Tom Pensitz, who has spoken to nearly 100 schools throughout Connecticut. I think the first and most important responsibility starts at home, um, to sit down and have conversations, parent and child, about what's best for them when you think that that child is ready. There are so many danger spots with Internet use for children. Pinson says continuous monitoring is better than a complete blackout of access. Let your child or, or young adult have a voice in decisions that are made. So don't sit down and say, this, 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 and this, and this is how it's going to be. And if you don't like it, I'm going to take that, that phone away. Um, because they're going to find a way, even if you take that phone away. At any time you have a child, especially a child under the age of 16, that you're allowing them to use social media apps, the best bet is to always keep those accounts private. Representative Linehan says she is in the middle of putting together a large event to talk about Internet safety and parental advice. And once that is complete, she'll have all the information and registration available on her website. Mark Robbins, Channel 3, Eyewitness News.